Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to go ahead and do the Should You Buy video on the new Drake Vulture, which is the salvage ship that we talked about in yesterday's video that was uh, released for pre-sale that is now available to the general population. Again, this ship is a small salvage ship. It's uh, going for $140 with six month insurance if you're gonna use store credit. If you're going to use um, cash or just new money, you get LTI and it comes with a discount, so it comes uh, $120. Now, as far as this ship, uh, it's 33 meters long, 16 meters wide, 9 meters tall. I predicted it was going to be about the size of a Freelancer. Turns out it's kind of between the size of like a Freelancer and a Cutlass. Um, it's actually just a little bit smaller than what the current Redeemer model is, to give you kind of an idea. Um, that being said, it is uh, slated to be relatively lightweight at 114.5 thousand kilograms. Um, it doesn't have a lot of interior space. Now, it's got some living room there, um, but with those arms sticking out, it makes the ship seem a lot longer than it actually is, and it's not really usable space. It's just kind of empty for you, the cargo to come in, or I guess the salvage to come in. Um, so the weight ends up staying a little bit low. Though, keep in mind, if you're filling up your cargo space with a lot of scrap, it is going to get heavy back there, and it probably will change your flight model. Um, speaking of the back, it's got a big ramp that's the full width of the cargo area, so getting your cargo in and out uh, should be relatively easy. Um, Speed-wise, uh, a little bit faster than I expected. Top speed at 165 SCM. That's not fast, um, but it's not as slow as some of the other ships in the game. Um, it does have, uh, I guess, medium-sized thrusters uh, as far as your main engines are concerned, so that's going to help a little bit there. Um, I'm a little bit... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on the speed. <laughs> I go back and forth. Like part of me says, yeah, that's a little bit faster than I expected. Part of me also looks at it and says, well, that's not real fast for a ship that's this lightweight. And so, I mean, we'll see. All of this stuff is subject to change, obviously. Uh, it's got medium armor on board. Uh, it comes with two size one weapons. Uh, it has 16 flares and 16 chaff. So you do have a little bit of ability to defend yourself through the countermeasures and the armor. The two size one weapons isn't going to do you a lot of good. As far as components go, the radar, the computer, and the power plant are all um, one small. Uh, the coolers and shields are two small. Um, you have two small fuel intakes, uh, one small regular and one small quantum fuel tanks. Uh, you have one small jump drive. So the vast majority of all of these components are going to be small because it is a small ship and it's not really meant to be a performance uh, machine. Uh, the main thrusters are uh, medium, uh, there's a retro thruster up front that's going to be small, and you have 24 fixed maneuvering thrusters around this ship, which is a lot, which is great because you're going to need to be able to kind of pivot and move this ship in ways, so I think it's going to be relatively easy to control in a debris field. Uh, on the front of the arms is what's known as the Tomium. Uh, it's an industrial grade scrapper rig, which is basically going to be like your lasers to kind of start cutting things apart and breaking off like layers of the hull. Um, actually, it's probably scraper rig. Uh, on the inside of the arms is a series of tractor beams called the Lariat. And in the brochure, there was a note that was saying that this system um, is supposed to be more powerful than much larger units. So that's kind of exciting to see. Uh, maybe it's in fact that they kind of work across from each other. I don't know. Um, the arms also have a built-in what's known as the Ripper Rig, um, which is an all-in-one contained salvage system. Um, there's also a compact processor that preps the raw salvage and separates it and ends up putting it into cubes like we heard about in the uh, Round the Verse. Um, and then the cargo hold carries up to 12 SCU of scrap or cargo, so you'll need to decide how much cargo you're going to bring along if you need it um, because you're going to be taking up reusable space for your scrap. Uh, as the pilot, um, you're going to basically control everything. Um, you're going to control uh, navigation, flight, defense, weapons, um, salvage, basically everything. The full operation is from the cockpit pilot seat. Um, like we talked about yesterday as well, you do get really good visibility. The idea is that you see the full operation unfolding before you. Um, the arms out front end up lowering when you go into production mode as opposed to, fl uh, I guess, flight mode. Um, and then, you know, you basically have the arms that come out and you get the control and all that kind of stuff. And it's just going to make it a smooth process, or at least that's the goal. So, should you buy the Vulture? Well, at $140, you know, it's not cheap, but... The, you know, the scaling on prices in this game is obviously a little bit different than most, but you are at the same price point as the Prospector for an entry-level profession ship, so there's a certain amount of consistency there, and it almost just feels expected. Um, I think my main recommendation is probably going to be the same as it was for the Prospector. If you don't want to spend the money for the big profession ship, so instead of the Orion, in this case, it's going to be the Reclaimer, to get the ability to do salvage, and you want to do more than just like cutting off a weapon off of a derelict or removing components to put those in like a cutlass, then I think the Vulture makes a lot of sense and it gets a good recommendation. 
design design wise i think it's cool it looks practical um and you have most of what you could want on the interior though we don't know about things like the kitchenette or the shower though i'd probably guess we at least get some rudimentary shower toilet combination um, other things I like about this one over the Reclaimer is the operating cost should be lower. There's no crew fees to pay. Um, it can get into smaller and tighter areas. Uh, and it's easy just to pick up and go play without the need of getting others to come along with you. That's a real value to me because it's simple to play the game and go do salvage with a ship like this where like when I've got the Reclaimer, it's going to take me more to get out and do that. Um, and it's going to be more of a chore as opposed to this just getting you right into the action. Uh, additionally, for planetary salvage, um, this thing is going to be much easier to get to the surface and back um, off than something like the Reclaimer. So while the Reclaimer isn't as restricted as something like the Orion because it can technically get to the planet's surface, it's almost in that category because it really sucks to land and take that thing off. Uh, where it's going to fall short is just in production. The Reclaimer can do more, it can do it faster, and it can do it for longer with bigger storage. Uh, it can also end up taking on bigger targets as well, um, as well as defending itself a little bit better because it's big, has better armor, has more weapons, etc. Um, I don't really care for the lack of weaponry on this, but it's also not a warship, talking about the uh, Vulture here. So while I think it's a little bit funny that the brochure talks about this weapon system, uh, <laughs> don't count on doing much with two size one weapons. Uh, outside of people who want to mine, I think there could be another use for this ship, like potentially disabling another ship if you could end up sneaking up on it. So ripping an engine off or something like that, it would be very hard and probably very dangerous, but there could be some sabotage gameplay there. Um, but I think at the end of the day, if salvage is what you want, um, I think this is going to be uh, you know, a relatively interesting and fairly profitable career choice. So if you're considering that, I think the Vulture is an easy recommendation and would get you in at least at some level to play that sort of gameplay. So CNG is going to be doing Q&A posts uh, in the following weeks where we'll get more information on the ship and I'll be covering those for you like I always do when those come out. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys have questions, fire away and stay tuned for a lot more coming soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.